Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make product animation for social media in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select these T layers. T3, 1, 5, 4, 2 and hold shift, select lift layers and click this icon for 3D layer. If you don't see this checkbox, click toggle switch modes. Let's click here. And right now there's 3D layers. And let's select the texture. Texture put and reflection layers. And product grain and main product. Let's see. Okay, this main product. Let's right mouse and pre compass. Add name product main. And click OK. So click this icon for 3D compensation. Open compensation. Okay, and go to select region of interest. Select region like this. And compensation. Select crop comp to region of interest. Okay, so close compensation. And select this product. Let's change quality quarter. And let's go to view. Change two views. Okay, and select this right view. And go to active camera change to top and this is my main active camera so in this time select this layer 2 this is my background let's change name background and unlock let's click this icon for also 3d layer and let's press p and move the back we can see your layer let's zoom out and move the back like this Okay, and press S, change scale for full screen. So, right now we can lock layer and select this product main compensation. Also, press P and move the back. For fast moving, hold Shift and move the back. Okay, and select product, press S, change scale. Nice. And right now, let's select these leaf layers. For example, select this leaf 11 and press P, move to back and select these other leaf layers, press P also and let's move to back step by step. We can see our layers. This is leaf 1 and leaf another. Leaf 9, press P and move to back here and leaf 1 also move to here and lift 2 move to back and lift 12 move to back and lift 3 move to back like this and lift 4 okay lift 5 also hold shift move to back lift 6 move to back and lift 7 and lift 8 okay so select these lifts and press S change scale and this lift let's select these all lift layers with hold shift press S and in this time let's change scales first this scale change like this and this scale Okay, let's move to here. I want to random leaf layers. Let's move to up. And this layer. And this. Move to here. And this layer. Chain scale. Let's move right this leaf and move to down this. Okay, so right now let's select these leaf layers. Move to like this for a beautiful scene.
Okay, so let's create new camera. Go to here, select this product main, and go to layer new and create camera here. Or click Ctrl Alt Shift and C. So don't change any settings. Click OK. We have camera here, and for camera control, let's create new object. Select camera one, right mouse, go to camera, and let's create orbit null. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pen behind icon. Clusation tool. And right now, select this camera, press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to 5 seconds. Let's make camera animation like this. Okay, let's see. Nice. We have deep scene and this very realistic. I like it. Select two frames, make easy or click F9. And let's see animation. Okay, select this last keyframe, move to left for fast animation. Let's select work area. Okay, so select keyframes, go to graph editor and let's make smooth graph. Okay, nice. So back to two frames and in this time, let's go to some two frames, make new passing two frame here and go to five seconds and move to left camera. I will add here text or logo. So select work area. So select two frames, go to graph editor. Okay, all is good and let's preview animation. Okay, not bad. So back to here, select the T layers. And first T3, press P. And move to back. And T1. Move to back. And T5, also move to back. And T4, press P. Move to back. And T2, press P and move to back like this. So let's see. Okay, very nice. Select these two leaf layers. And let's first move to up here. And this move to here. And this. And let's control D, this layer tomato. And move to here. Go to rotation. Chain rotation like this. Clusation tool and select this blue arrow, move to back for more parallax. And let's select this tomato layer, control D, move to here and change scale. Move to like this and select this leaf, control D, move to here like this and go to rotation. Chain rotation, clusation tool, move to here and select tomato, control D and let's select this blue arrow, move to behind to product layer and move to right. And chain scale and press P, move to front a little bit. Okay, and put behind product layer. And this change scale a little bit. Okay, let's select this tomato layer. Again, hold shift, select this blue arrow. And move to behind main product and change scale, move to down, go to rotation, select this Z, chain rotation, 
and select this leaf let's hold shift of the behind product and change rotation okay let's change rotation more and control D chain rotation like this and move to here okay not bad so let's see go to back Okay, so select these two layers and let's see camera in this time let's press P make new person keyframes and go to here select this layer tomato move to left let's move to here and select this leaf layer move to here like this nice very good so select these leaf layers let's move to left here and this move to up and this and right now i want to add expression for random rotate animations for these leaf layers and tomato layers first select this layer first leaf and press air and go to Z rotation, hold Alt, click time duration. And let's right here we go 1, 7. And let's see. Let's select this leaf 5, go to solo. Okay. And let's edit this expression. We can change this 6. And select this leaf 5, select Z rotation, go to edit and we can see here copy expression only. Let's copy and select these other leaf layers and tomato layers with hold shift and this leaf 5 and leaf 6 layers and let's press R, go to edit and paste. Right now we have random animations with expressions. Okay, not bad. So, let's select all layers, close settings. And let's open product animation. Select this texture put. And control D for duplicate, change this name matte. And select texture move the inside two layers and click toggle switch mode go to none and alpha matte right now i can move inside like this so in this i'm back to here let's see timing select camera press u and in this time go to product select texture press p make new person keyframe let's move to right a little bit and select these reflections let's press p make new person keyframes go to back and let's see next keyframe okay go to here and back to product select this texture and select this first keyframe let's move to left first then let's say again next keyframe okay back to product and move to right select these reflections move to right also Let's see. Nice. Select keyframes, make easy. And let's make random keyframes for these reflections. Let's select work area. Okay, more realistic. Back to product. Let's see here. 
nice so we can add here our product name okay not bad let's change view one view and change this active camera and right now let's select this camera and open inside and camera options let's enable depot field and change aperture 150 and blur level 200 and let's see we can change fox distance with this tool and we have problem with default field let's right mouse go to compensation settings go to 3d render and we can see our scene of 4d chain classic 3d right now we can see work it click ok change distance like this okay let's select better results change quality full and let's see change distance okay this is good and let's go to back okay And in this time, make Fox Distance keyframe and go to back and change distance like this. Okay. Nice. And change blur level 200 or 300. And aperture, let's change 250. And right now, go to last keyframe, change distance like this. Nice. And go to first second, change distance again. For change fast distance, hold shift. Okay, very nice. And let's see. nice so right now we can add here our product name and in this time select this camera orbit null and hold shift press air open rotation and go to here make rotation keyframe for z rotation and go to back chain rotation minus five okay and go to background chain scale hold shift change scale like this and lock layer again let's change more and lock nice and go to here chain rotation chain this five okay and in this time make new rotation keyframe go to here change rotation more okay select keyframes and make easies okay not bad for beginners it's work so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck